because it's Christmas soon, I thought I would just show you some present ideas so you can also just do the things for your own. Most of them won't cost you much money or some of them won't cost you any money. And yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. We start with the super cute emoji magnets and here I will show you three designs. So for all of them you will need a crown cap which you will just paint with yellow acrylic color. I actually collected all my crown caps in the restaurant and just asked for them and I needed to make seven layers and always let it dry in between but it's definitely worth it I mean it's it's yellow so we can't expect this and then you will just take a really tiny paintbrush I had this it was really practical and worked really really good I was very surprised and I just took some red acrylic paint and painted two heart shaped eyes on this then for the color I use here I just mixed together some black with some yellow to create this emoji like color and made them out but you can also use black or any other color for the next design we make the blinking cute emoji that is has this kissing mouth so therefore just use this color again and paint an eye then an eyebrow then just such a line for the blinking eye and then another eyebrow and then for the mouse just create something like a half eight <laughs> And then we will again use our red color and create another heart and also fill this in. It looks so cute and adorable. I really, really love this emoji and it turned out so good. I didn't expect this. And for the last one, I will show you we have this one with those sweet red cheeks. Therefore, just create two eyebrows and two eyes like in the blinking one before. And then we will just create a mouth like in our first like from our first emoji yes and then for the cheeks I just used a spoon dipped it in some red color and in between the eyes and the mouth I created such red cheeks now to secure the magnets we need to have a cork where we cut something off because our magnets aren't high enough so unfortunately then you would just secure it with your hot glue gun on the magnet I'm sorry that the floor is focused and not what I would like to show you and don't wonder that I have got glitter glue I just had this left and wanted to choose this and then on this we secure our magnet and it's ready the next idea is more a present idea it's a mini cooking book actually all of my friends nearly got this last Christmas from me because just such a nice present and I put it in a mug and also put some sweets to this so yes all you're gonna do for this is you cut a card cardboard in the size you want your books to be you can do this as small or as little as small or as big as you want and then cut also out some paper so plain white paper and the same size of course and then you just write recipes on there which you find on YouTube or just somewhere else in the internet and yes you can do this on a special topic so I for example use peanut butter but you can also make maybe Nutella, Starbucks recipes, mug cakes, whatever you like then I just designed a nice front page you can really get as creative as you want then I just put everything together so the cardboard at the end, the recipes in between and the front page at the front. Then I just made it with a hole puncher some holes in there and then used some wool and made two knots, one bow and another knot and just cut it aside and it was ready. This DIY is good as a present or also for yourself. We're doing a phone holder and therefore we just need a toilet paper roll which you can paint or you can put duct, pa duct tape around it like I did. I just put this around and always cut it at the same place which I will use later at the lower thing so to stand it to put it I don't know how to describe it but where I will secure my things so that it holds on the table <laughs> yes so that you don't see like the edge where everything comes together and then I just cut off the other part which was left because my duct tape doesn't fit didn't fit perfect on it but you could also um, use this then for another phone holder if you want to make some and then I just used drawing pins and put them in there. I made secure before this that it would hold. So I just put two of them on one side and then made sure that it would hold. Like I looked where I will secure the other ones and then just put them in there. And then I cut out such a form because I'd like to cover this because it doesn't look so good. And then the next step is already to go in there with a knife or with the scissors like you prefer it like it works if you're going to give this to someone as a present it's better when the person does this because 
the mobile really needs to fit in there and it would be not very practical if it doesn't but if you have the same mobile or does it do it for your own it's no problem when you do this on your own so just cut it out that your mobile fits in there Next I'm going to show you a keyring pendant, a macaron keyring pendant and therefore you will again need some crown caps and just paint them. It's Coca-Cola again, they just look the best, this video is not sponsored but yes, just paint them in any color that looks macaron like and maybe you will need several layers again. I just, I think I need about three so purple is a better color than yellow obviously. And then what we will do is use our hot glue gun again, go in there, so obviously you need two for one macaron. So go in there and secure our keyring pendant holder, however you call this, in there and let it dry. You can DIY them or you can also find them in the store, actually DIY mine. And then we will use our hot glue gun and put the other crown cap on our other crown cap, yes. And then there's a hole between this and you will just go around this with your hot glue gun and hold Really, really good, it looks really macaron like and then you can just go on there with some glitter or you can leave it like this or if you have got glitter glue, glitter glue, this is perfect too. The last thing I'm going to show you is the calendar because directly after Christmas is New Year or you can also just do this calendar for maybe a time you don't see a person or you can also do this for your own. So all you're gonna do is paint out 12 pictures on paper and you can also make them on special photo paper but I think this is totally enough and you can paint pic print pictures out that are personal or just pictures you think that fit to the month and then I just wrote the name of the month on there and a nice saying but you can also skip this and then I just wrote down down all dates of the month and of course the um, day of the week and yes, you can get here as creative as you want, you can paint pictures in there, you can put special dates, so maybe like say on the 17th we're going for a coffee, on this day we're going in the cinema, and then just make a nice front page and to connect everything I used the same technique as for the cooking book. Mm -hmm.